Welcome to a very special edition of Tips for Clips where I'm going to trim my beautiful wife's hair for the first time. And if you're stuck at home and have a similar problem, this video is for you. And here's a quick sneak peek at the finished result. You'll just need a pair of scissors, some hair ties, and a hairbrush. Do you want me to do that for you? <laughs> you don't be. You clearly don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's really not that bad. No, You're trying to choke me. I'm nervous. So first part her hair down the middle. And then you're gonna part the hair right at the center of the ear. And you're gonna do this on both sides. And then all of the hair that you have left in the back, you're gonna put up in a ponytail. And then after you have the ponytail, you're going to take some of the hair from the front that frames the face, and you're gonna hold that hair. And this is gonna be where we make our first trim. An absolute rule that you will use throughout is be careful and be cautious. So you don't want to cut off too much. So I'm gonna cut off about an inch and a half here, and this is the hair that's gonna frame her face. I've watched a few YouTube videos myself, and I've learned a couple of tips here and this is the best that I've come up with. So you just cut straight across and then every time after you make a cut, you're gonna want to do what's called a point cut. You see here, I'm just snipping back and forth vertically right in the direction of the hair. This sort of feathers out and lightens up the hair at the bottom instead of making it look like an abrupt chop. For all the husbands watching this, apparently there's something called dead ends at the bottom of women's hair, which means they're sort of like split and frayed, and that's all you're trying to get rid of in this haircut. Next, we're just gonna take that hair back, and what we just cut is now gonna be used as our guideline. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean here. As I comb her hair back, I'm gonna see some hair sticking up right there. That's where we just cut. So what you want to do is cut about an inch and a half under where you just cut. I'm so nervous. Wait, you, you don't want too many layers, right? You're gonna cut straight across, and then again, every time after we cut straight across, we're just gonna point cut it, just as I'm doing right now, to feather it out, to lighten it up. Exact same thing on the other side. Find where your guide is and go an inch and a half under that. So the guides are the same exact length because it was the same cut at the beginning. So you want to make sure that the inch and a half that you're estimating is as precise as you can be. And the way to check it is after this step, check the hair along the face that's framing the face and make sure it's the same length on both sides. As we've been doing, once you cut, make sure you point cut afterwards to feather that out. Next, you're going to undo the ponytail in the back and you're gonna divide the hair right down the center, front and back, and you're gonna brush the hair to the side. Take the hair in your hands just like we did before. You're gonna find your guidelines. You see that guideline right there that I just showed you? And again, you're gonna cut about an inch and a half under that guideline. Try to be as precise as you can here and then point cut as usual. And notice here, I'm not necessarily layering the hair. This is very basic, just getting a trim and getting rid of any dead ends at the bottom of the hair. Same thing on the other side. You're going to brush through the hair and when you see that hair popping out from where you previously cut, you're gonna go about an inch and a half under there and the whole point is that stepwise, we're framing the face, we're framing the hair to go from shorter in the front to a little bit longer in the back. I know for most of us guys, we can't really tell the difference, but this hair is healthier now because all the dead ends are cut. But you can at least tell it looks a lot better. And the final step now is going to be brushing all the hair and seeing if anything is sticking out and cutting just straight across the bottom, making sure that nothing is choppy, that everything is nice and straight. You don't want to cut too much here because you don't want to mess up what you feathered, but just evening things out. 
And there you have it, a very simple trim. Again, be careful, be cautious. I am not responsible for any arguments that may ensue as a result of this video, but do give it a try. I am selling these scissors on my website, tipsforclipshair.com. Here are some of my other videos. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you at the next video.